GW, and we are here at the Blue Force Gear here at SHOT Show 2014. I have the pleasure of having Blue Force Gear Brittany here, and she's going to talk about the uh, new sling that they have. So, yes, thanks for thanks for coming by. No uh, we have our new 2 to 1 point sling, so the bigger sling that everyone knows us for, which is the issue sling for the Marine Corps and the Air Force Security Forces, uh, now has the option of being a 2 to 1 point. So what we've done is we've sewn in our patented red swivel to the front of the sling, and it's basically a reverse engineered push button because guys are using push buttons, um, you know, as an emergency release, and they're really hard to get out of, you know, under stress. So um, all you do is you pull out on the knob, and that releases it from the weapon. And then um, we have our burn sit socket here, and so you just place it in there to create a one point sling. And now you have a you know one to two point. Um, this one is the padded version. This one with the pad and all of the hardware is selling now for only ninety five dollars. The non padded is eighty five. So that's available on our website at blueforcegear.com. I do like how you guys address the problem. Of course, you know QD attachments has always been kind of finicky and you know it's hard to get to in, in a, an emergency situation. But that definitely comes in handy. As, as you can see, it's really easy to access and really easy to manipulate. But overall, it seems like really good sleep package. I'm going to check it out. All right. Uh, yeah, let's go. Next, we have new for um, 2014 is uh, camo green. So we, we really wanted to bring a green back into our line and, you know, kind of just trying to decide which one. And we just feel like this is the best one that will blend with, with most greens. With the widest range. Right, exactly. So uh, our whole product line is available in cloudy brown, multi-cam, black, and wolf green. But now we also have the green. See, they're covering everything now. <laughs> and you know what's great is that there's definitely some places uh, where, um, like, I guess you get Foley's green, OD green's kind of coming back. You know, for a while it was kind of a uh, rush aside because everyone's going to draw new camos. But especially ever since the you know, FBI HRT started picking up green again, everyone's really been trying to jump on the green bandwagon. But that's great, and it's going to have all the same helium uh, whisper attachment yep. system as yep. before. Yep, all of our same, you know, technologies will be in each pouch. So. Looks like I'm going to have to pick up a green plate minus now, pretty much. <laughs> Speaking of plate minus... Yeah. So last year we relaunched the Plate Minus version 1, which you're familiar with. Oh yes. Um, and that one has just a strap on the side, it's super low profile. This one, new for 2014, has a cummerbund and um, side plate capability. So you can put 6x6 six six side plates in here. Um, we've also incorporated this little ball detail, so it's... it's okay, so, okay, so it actually just gives you something to grab when you want to right. tear away. Okay. Right, and we, we found, you know... Um, Bloody, yeah, you just can't, you can't quite catch webbing, but this gives you something more. Yeah, that's nice that you actually added that, because, you know, it's, especially that it's kind of enclosed, you know, some, you know, different companies use different things, but that's really easy to get to. It's definitely really handy. I like how you actually have the, the uh, mag pouches on, <laughs> integrated yeah, into yeah. the Yeah, yeah, so we've got, our, we've got our 10 feet um, as well, and so you can attach. Uh, all different sizes. This is the three cell. We have a four cell, two cell, and one cell. Um, but you can put ten, your magazines in here, trauma dressings, tourniquets, whatever. So just some extra space. If you're not familiar with 10 speed, I mean, it's pretty much like that one pouch that kind of does a little of everything. You can go mags, and you can go, you know, like you said, tourniquets. I've seen guys use smoke grenades. But what's great about it is, of course, if you want to go slick, you just empty them, and you don't have to change anything, and they just go slick. And uh, they're nice and low pro. And I definitely like uh, the addition of the side plates, too. And of course, having those side panels, that was, you know, definitely one of the things people were looking for the most. But I still like the plate minus because it's nice, really quick, you know, just, yeah. you know best you just need to throw on a get up and go, but this is definitely uh, better if you're going to be uh, exposed for a more long period of time. It seems you also had, actually add some Velcro on there as we well. We did, we it's did. Loop. Yeah. yeah. Because, uh, yeah, I, you know, uh, I actually threw the admin panel on there for my, <laughs> my Velcro, but that's pretty awesome <laughs> you guys had on there this time. So. Yeah. We yeah. like our, our, you know, name plates or whatever. You, you need that. And we all, we use, anytime that the Velcro is exposed, we use color match. So, you that, know. I always, I always like that. You know, not a lot of people do that, but I always thought it was cool that you guys did. So, any possibility of an LMAC possibly coming out in the Wolf Grey one of these days? 
Well, we haven't talked about doing El Mac and Gray yet, just because Plate Minus has done so well. Um, so I, I'm, I'm not sure. Okay. I'll see. All right. Well, thanks again for your time. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so very much. much. For coming by. Oh, no Appreciate problem. it. Well, my pleasure. All right, guys. Make sure you guys check out Blue Force Gear if you're here at Shot Show, and uh, thank you guys for watching. Oh, thanks again. Oh, also, uh, yeah, I'll talk a little bit about uh, Plate Minus and where the, the concept and idea of where it came from and uh, what we got to do this year with the Plate Minus version 2. Uh, so Plate Minus 1 uh, was kind of a natural uh, offshoot of our Keenan Whisper line that we developed. We realized we'd take a lot of weight off the pouches, but we still need to do something about the load carriage system. And so we developed the Rack Minus and the Split Minus, and while we were doing that, we also looked, uh, took a hard look at the plate carriers and realized there was still a lot of room for improvement with those. And so using those same technologies uh, in our sharp um, laser mounted sharp systems, sharp mounted laser systems, uh, developed Play Minus One. And we launched that last year at Shock Show uh, in all our color options. Well, this year, we've taken the same Play Minus footprint and added the capability for 6x6 side plates. So, guys out there who have the, the need for additional armor protection on their sides, uh, we now get a Cumberland system that is integral to the system. It allows you to carry six by six plates. The Cumberland uses our 10-speed Cumberland system. It's fully removable and adjustable, so you can adjust for size uh, and other options that may come along in the future. Any questions on plate minus? <laughs> can I give one away now? Who wants to play minus? <laughs> awesome. James C. Burns play Sergeant Frank Woods in Call of Duty Black Ops 1 and 2. It's time for you to subscribe to Spartan 117GW, baby. Elite Force BB, that's what's in my mag. Thanks for watching.